So, we all know the relationship between Tommy and Kate wasn't left on the best of terms. And to make it worse, Tommy came back in Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1, where he took Kate's car and crashed it, faking his death. And it's also another question we need answering. Does Kate know that Tommy is alive? Because in New York, he's dead. But the return of Kate was always coming, because they referenced her name in Episode 1. It was only a matter of when, and not if. And the questions that we've been asking recently is, what are the secrets is Kate gonna reveal when she comes to Chicago? Because even though Tommy doesn't want answers, JP does, and all of his power fans want to know what Kate's side of the story is. But could she bring trouble with her? Could Kate come into Chicago bring trouble in the form of law enforcement, getting eyes on Tommy again? Because let's face it, he's had a good run in Power Book 4 Force so far, which I would say with majority of the things falling his way, and it is thanks to him being a lot more mature, experienced, being 5 moves ahead of everybody else, learning and taking bits from everyone in his past, not just Ghost, but there's Kanan, Milan, and Jason Mitchich. But now in Chicago, we're watching him using everybody around him to build his organization, expand, and get in this position of power. But where he's also got this right-hand woman to tell him when he's pushing too hard. But surely at some point, Tommy's gonna come up against an issue that's gonna shake things up. Because nobody has everything go all their way, every single time. And we even saw Kanan go through troubling times, as well as Ghost when we saw him flustered, especially with Milan. So, Tommy will definitely face his troubles, and where Claudia is causing some of them, because we've now seen her going behind Tommy's back, not once, but twice. But this is something I'm gonna go through in a character analysis, when we go through Tommy, the CBI, the Flins, and Liliana. But let's go into a bit more detail about Kate, because over the past few weeks, I've been running through unanswered questions that we need answering from Kate Egan, so JP can make sense of the past, and why she left him, why she lied to Tommy about Grandma Miriam Egan being dead, which I don't think he was too surprised with, because in power, she did lie about Tony Teresi. So none of this really was new for Tommy, because Kate will always be Kate to him. And Herman seems to think so as well. But where Herman has a side of the story where he lied to JP about Kate being dead, and JP and Tommy having their own story and version of events. One version we've not heard is Kate's. For example, was she forced to give up JP? Because we all know how much she loved Jamie, and maybe this love came from the fact she lost her son in JP, who she could never be with. And this is why JP has been pushing all season long to speak with Kate and meet with his mother, because he wants to ask her why did she leave him, because we all heard him when he said, what kind of a mother leaves a child? But for us to understand all of this, we really need to hear Kate's side of the story, where for the first time, she won't be able to lie. But we always look at different perspectives in my videos, so let's have a look at this from Kate's angle, where we may look like Kate is a bad mother, who's always high and coked out of her face and God knows what she'd look like if she took Dahlia, so it may be a good idea for Tommy to keep her away from Dahlia. But Kate was someone who still raised and looked after Tommy, and also took in Jamie after his father was killed, and looked after him and raised him, as if he was her own son. And everybody has faults, but can Kate Egan be forgiven? Family is about forgiveness. I can never forgive her for what she'd done. She walked out on me right after they cut the fucking cord, and I'm still willing to forgive her. So, JP is still willing to forgive Kate, even though she walked out on him when he was a baby, because family is all about forgiveness, but blood doesn't necessarily make you family, loyalty does. And let's not get it twisted, Kate may look like a bad mother for all her lies, but there were many occasions in power where she was right. For example with Holly when she told him that she was bad for him, realizing that she was the one who was getting in between Jamie and Tommy. Now she also warned him about Tony Teresi, where even though she lied about him being alive, she told him that he's no good for him, and even referenced him as the devil. And of course, we all know how that played out with Teresi being a snitch. And then we saw Tommy admitted to Kate, she was right. But there was also Lakeisha, because Kate knows that no love can get in between a mother and her son. And she warned Tommy as well as warning Lakeisha the fate of Tommy's past relationships, and what happens if you get on Tommy's bad side. So it really can be argued, as crazy as Kate was, she really was right about a lot of things. She was right about Teresi being no good. She was right about Holly, and she was also right about how Lakeisha would always put cash first. And ironically, where she won Lakeisha, even though it wasn't Tommy who pulled the trigger, the game which Lakeisha had nothing to do with at first was eventually her downfall. So it can also be argued where she lied to Tommy, did she lie for his own good? But I'm sure she was also in the mindset of nobody ever being good enough for her son, because they really did have this close but really weird relationship. But let's see when Kate does give her side of the story, and whether or not Tommy does forgive her. Because there is never just one side to the story, sometimes there's his side, her side, and then there's the truth. So we are definitely gonna uncover some answers, but it may leave us with other questions. 
but one thing's for sure, where there's Kate, there's always trouble. So let's talk about whether Kate will bring trouble when she comes to Chicago. Because over the last few weeks, we've spoken about how they could do this Power Book 2 Ghost and Force crossover. And could Kate be one of them, with law enforcement sniffing right behind? Because I did make reference to these images that were taken in Episode 3 by Detective Vargas and Kayla. And I do wonder if they'll ever either drop onto Cooper Sacks or Blanca Rodriguez's desk. Because both of them, they're both like dogs with bones, when it comes to the St. Patrick family and Tommy. And Tommy was someone who they could never catch. But because of the nature of their characters and their willingness to always catch the bad guy, I can see at least one of them crossing over. So I can really see Tommy being in trouble with law enforcement again. And something that could fuel this is Dahlia, when this catches the attention of police, when it hits the streets. Because Dahlia is already creating some noise. But could Dahlia also cross over to Power Book 2 Ghost? Because we all know the Tardis are still in need of a connect. And with Tommy looking to expand Dahlia, moving to New York could very well happen. But the most likely connection I see happening is the Serbs. And that's because we know the Serbs are in Chicago. But over the last two episodes, we need to keep in the back of our mind. Detective Whitman was also looking at the Serbian network in the final episode of Power Book 2 Ghost Season 2. And there is definitely a reason why they showed us this. So as we get closer to the season finale, I really wouldn't be surprised if they did drop a bombshell with a connection to Power Book 2 Ghost in the form of the Serbian network, law enforcement or Dahlia. But this is where I'm going to leave it for the week. But even now Force is on a week break. I'm going to dive deep and do in-depth character analysis on Tommy, Liliana, the CBI and the Flynns. And maybe a Power Book 2 Ghost Season 3 video. So there definitely is still a lot more to come over this week break. But drop all your thoughts on Kate returning and could she bring trouble for Tommy with her along with secrets. And what troubles do you see Tommy facing? Claudia being one of them as well as Jannard. But let's see what else is around the corner. So drop all your thoughts down below in the comment section. And of course if you're new to the channel and you haven't done so already. Then remember to smash the subscribe button if you want to see everything Power Book 4 Force. And Power Universe related. But as always thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time.